welcome back to the Be The Hero channel. My apologies for missing one day of astrology. I was off grid last weekend and didn't have time to film Monday's transits. Today is June 20th and here is your horoscope for the day for what is happening in the stars. Now, before I dive in, once again, my name's Isabel and I help you understand who you are using personality typing and astrology. And you need to hit the link in the description below to get your very own My Horoscope Made Me Do It hoodie available now for a limited time. If you want a t-shirt, you can get a t-shirt, but these hoodies are insanely comfortable. So get yours now, link is in the description below. Today, we have a challenging aspect, first and foremost, between Mercury and Pluto. This may mean that we have some hard times between talking with authority and also uh, our mental connection to ourselves, specifically our wounds. Mercury, planet of communication, forming a hard aspect with Pluto, the planet of death, rebirth, and self-transformation, which is currently going retrograde in the sign of Capricorn, as it recently re-entered Capricorn, really reflects our relationships with how we talk and communicate with the world and how we communicate with ourselves. So today we might feel some challenges between our communication and some tension internally. This is an aspect that really focuses on how we can feel basically very put off by everything people say. And we can often feel that we want to just act boldly, interrupt, or be aggressive, but this is a reminder to you to breathe through it and focus on the outcome you want. Also today in the SARS, which is more of a long-term aspect, but started today, is Jupiter forms a sextile to Saturn. Jupiter, the planet of expansion in the sign of Taurus, forms a positive sextile to Saturn retrograde in Pisces. Saturn recently went retrograde in Pisces last Saturday during the new moon in Gemini, and this called us to reflect on our emotional boundaries and our boundaries between other people and with other people and ourselves, and for us to focus on energetic responsibility. Jupiter, the planet of expansion in the sign of Taurus, invites us to look at our sense of self-worth and expand our sense of self-worth, building more sufficiency and creature comforts in our life can help us do so. Depending on the house Jupiter's transiting Taurus in for you will change where you find this. But with this long-term sextile that we're going to feel between Jupiter and Saturn, we can find that the more energetically responsible we are and the more we focus on cultivating and reflecting on our relationship with responsibility for our well-being, the more we will experience both financial abundance and also a sense of expansion in our self-worth. Saturn, again, transiting Pisces, it's really important to understand this aspect to understand how the sextile will be beneficial. I have a whole video covering Saturn retrograde in Pisces, which you should watch later if you have not yet already. But to quickly summarize again, Saturn is often associated with responsibility and Jupiter and Saturn form this expansion and contraction, luck and also benefits that come from hard work. They form this inner balance in us when navigated correctly. And oftentimes in society, some of us will move towards too much Saturn energy and some of us move towards too much Jupiter energy. So this sextile between Jupiter and Saturn helps us balance those scales and see how they can work together. With Jupiter in Taurus, we are called to do things that expand who we are to learn things that expand our sense of self-worth and to focus on building a stronger sense of grounding. Uh, Jupiter entered Taurus only recently this May. And so with Jupiter here, we are called to focus on our sense of comfort and our sense of self-worth. Saturn retrograde in Pisces tells us to, while it's stereotypically focused on responsibility and associated with Capricorn, it calls us to focus on the sense of responsibility that comes from being an energetic being. So during Saturn retrograde in Pisces, this is the time for us to reflect on our wounds, to reflect on our boundaries between ourselves and other people, and be more energetically responsible for ourselves, which can mean taking better care of ourselves or not projecting ourselves onto other people. So this positive sextile, which started today, is inspiring us to take aligned action, to be more responsible, both in our tasks and noticing how our energy is affected by those. So and embrace this energy, 
today and going forward. Today, you will feel it the strongest and focus on doing things that help you feel that you are growing, expanding, and emotionally, energetically balanced. And finally, we have a less so, uh, less primary, but also subtle square between Venus and Neptune. With this Venus-Neptune square today, we might feel a little challenged when it comes to showing up in the world. And again, Pisces and Venus are just causing all these issues um, with all these different aspects since Venus has entered Leo and with all the Pisces energy we've had during the new moon in Gemini. So this can feel like familiar energy to many of us all. Again, having to reflect on our relationship between how we have fun in the world and also how much we take care of ourselves and let our projections and our reflections, um, how much our <laughs> internal emotions become projections in our reality and our, ref our reality is a reflection of us. So some conflict is in the air with two hard aspects, all focused on uh, our emotional wounds and also our ref projections that we put out to the world with the Mercury Pluto aspect and with the Venus Neptune aspect. So focus today on what you're projecting out to the world and focus on finding balance between responsibility and self-healing. That is your horoscope for the day. Hopefully you enjoyed this and it helped you understand the stars. Be sure to hit the link in the description below to book a 30 minute reading with me if you want more guidance on how these transits are affecting you. In our 30 minute session, we can go into all the upcoming transits, not just for the week, but for the upcoming 30 days, whatever you want to do, because the stars are going to affect you in a unique and different way based on your chart. So hit the link in the description below to book a reading now. While you're down there, grab the free birth chart workbook if you have not yet already grabbed it and check out the Making Mindfulness Fun bundle where you can access all 30 of our workbooks and courses on self uh, discovery and astrology for only $30. It's $1 per course per workbook and you have access for life to these workbooks and courses. So hit the link in the description below to grab it now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Sincerely hope you enjoyed. Once again, my name is Isabel and from my heart to yours, namaste.